Hi guys, so today I'm going to explain you how to use the or how to set the code highlighter in a Jekyll team website and it's pretty straightforward but I spent a solid hour looking how to do this um, so I thought about doing a video and explaining how uh, this can be achieved in less than I'd say five minutes. Anyway, so first of all, you have to uh, edit your config YAM file, and you have to add this line, this one here, okay you have to add this one here because you are using i'm using the syntax highlighter rouge rouge uh you can learn more about this in um, github uh, repository but anyway it will work if you add these uh, four lines and you can set up that quickly uh, you can also uh, see the options and more things that you might want to have. Okay, so options here. So it's a good idea just to look quick in the options in the repository uh, and see how it is work in terms of uh, options. So you choose your team, uh, code highlighted team. So I chose the Monarch High, <laughs> uh, which is, let me see if I can show you. Well, uh, it's pretty close to the Sublime Default one, but yeah, you can have more options. This side here, you can see like how they look, or you can have your own. Uh, depends you have to find out where is the CSS file because next step is to import the CSS file so I just went to the monarch high <laughs> sorry if I'm not pronouncing this right I don't know how to pronounce this and you import the um, CSS there we are yeah this you save this you save this in your project so basically i save this in the sas folder because for me it's the best option and here don't forget to import yeah and then you go to the anywhere would you want to include the code synapt code synapt and uh, you have to use this okay so you have to use the liquid uh, syntax and you have to specify here uh, your uh, the language you are using and obviously using the syntax that belongs to that language so at the moment i have c sharp so if i go to this template going to show you here we are okay so this is just a test a test <laughs> sorry a test yeah because I still uh, is this I decide to have a blog uh, so I was just trying to figure it out so nothing fancy is just a line for me to test so if I put here instead of C sharp let's say PHP I have to delete this and that would like echo hello world let's see how it looks because must look different because php syntax is different from the, the um, c sharp let me anyway oh 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 not serving i have an error oh there we are yeah heco hello world and you can do for JavaScript and Ruby and any other language that you find you want to use or you're using or you want to demonstrate. So second option, if you don't want your uh, SAS, uh, I mean CSS theme file for any reason, 
in your SAS folder or if it's not working in this way you can always go to the assets folder CSS or anywhere else uh, anywhere where you importing the SAS and you add that's the same I'm not doing this way but you can do this way and you put the, fo the file here inside of the CSS folder or anywhere where you are doing this so okay so now but you have to do this the config yam file stays the same with those lines okay and you just write here uh rogify okay rogify style the style i'm using which is mon okay then you do this Okay. So rigify salmon, okay. And you are mapping okay this style to go the Ruchi Ruch uh, to go to this where you have the file. So at the moment I have the file in assets assets CSS and you put the full name of your file CSS okay and press enter this should be enough and you have your code highlighter working and happy days